Hello and welcome back again to G Security. So today I'm going to do a simple demonstration on a social engineering attack. So we all know that social engineering attacks, especially phishing, have been on the rise where attackers uh, uh, take over accounts by simply sending a link, a, mal a malicious link for that case. And when the user clicks on that unsuspecting link, they give up their credentials and then it's game over. So uh, before we continue a disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm not liable for any losses or I'm for any responsibility that may arise from any use of my videos. So hacking people is very, very irresponsible. We do this in the context of ethical hacking. Now let's proceed. So I'm going to demonstrate this social engineer attack using a very nice tool called ZFisher. So I'm on my Kali Linux box. I'm going to clone the repo, open our terminal. Then I'm going to cd to my op directory, then sudo git clone, sudo password. Okay, so it's already, it exists. Let's cd to zfisher, do an ls. We are going to install this zfisher.sh file. You can do this by sudo dot forward slash zfisher.sh so it's going to take some time to install all the dependencies all the requirements so just give it some time and this will depend also on your internet speed and if everything went well you should be greeted by this nice screen so zfisher version 2.3.5 created by htr tech shout out to them and then we can see all the almost 35 plus templates that are available that you can use to carry out these phishing attacks or phishing simulations if it's an organization so for for the sake of demonstration we are going to carry out uh, a facebook hat attack so we'll do one and then we have four options here traditional advanced fake and facebook messenger login page we'll do the let's do the traditional one and then you need to choose a, a port forwarding service. This will mask your phishing link. So you can use Cloudflare or local expose. For the sake of demonstration, we are going to use our local host. And then no, I don't need a custom port. And then our phishing link has been generated at my local host port 8080. So just to simplify this demonstration, I will pretend that I'm also the victim. So we uh, let's assume that I have already sent this link to the victim. Now we can right click and then open the link. And there it is. So let's put some fake addresses. Test at gmail.com. The password will be test, test, and let's log in. Don't save. And then it will direct us to the real facebook.com page trying us to telling us to find our account but something has just happened in the background if you go back to our terminal we can confirm that the login details the email address and the password have been captured this this is how it happens now let's do another one control c let's do sudo zfisher.sh again and this time let's do our uh, which one let's do a uh, linkedin number 14 we'll do localhost no port click on that link and there it is let's do test at gmail.com the password will be test test and then sign in don't save and there it is it will redirect us to the linkedin uh the original linkedin address this will uh it will make it less suspicious for the victim to actually understand that something fishy is going on if you go back to the terminal we have the credentials so this is how it happens guys so most probably you have been told to look for the https padlock here to confirm that the connection is secure if you look at the let's open it again if you look at the link if you open it the first time it will not show you that it's, it's secure 
but hackers can mask these addresses so for let's control c again open it again and then let's create a facebook one let's do one again a local host no and then let's grab this link let's copy it let's go to our browser and then we'll do a url shortener let's do let's take this one so hackers do this they shrink or they mask the the ip address so that it doesn't appear like it's a phishing email let's place our link there paste shorten the url and there 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 it is this is the link that you will send to the victim let's copy it open a new tab let's see if it works control v to paste and you can confirm that it works if you do test again at gmail.com password test test and the login don't save boom 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 if you go back again we have the credentials so this is how phishing attacks are carried out so i hope this video has been educational and uh, i would like you to share like and most of all subscribe to the channel so that more and more people can be educated on how these attacks are carried out thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you in the next one